I can tell you for about the past 15 years, I've been struggling with pain. I take heavy medication just to get out of bed. Just because I'm in bed didn't mean I was sleeping. The devil had me down. It's been 15 years, something needed to change. So with the help of my son Chase, I began having a deeper understanding of the true power of prayer. He introduced me to Yvette and Marietta. With them ministering to me, God, oh, sorry. God, showed, God showed them that I had never grieved the many losses in my life. That is when my, the start of my healing process when I was introduced to them began. I'm overcoming with prayer and I'm learning how to speak with God. If grace was an ocean, I would be sinking. I'm grateful that my religion is now my relationship with God. Thank you. There is a song by Corey Asbury called The Father's House, y'all sang here a few weeks back. There were two things that resonated with me. In one part of that song, he says, check your shame at the door, it's not welcome anymore, you're in the Father's house. I was feeling shame. I was feeling a lot of shame, I think, with my illness because it was affecting not only my life, but it started affecting my family's life. Everything revolved around, well, can she go? Should we not go? She, should we not leave her home alone? Maybe we should do this. So there was a lot of shame in, in that. There was a second part of that where he says, my story isn't over. My story's just begun. Failure won't define me because that's what my father does. That really stuck with me, and I was really feeling hopeful. I said, so my, my story truly is now beginning with the healing process. I had a conversation with a lady recently, and she told me she felt completely hopeless. She said, I've hit rock bottom. I have absolutely nothing left. I don't feel like I can go on. And my, I said to her, you're breathing, there's hope. Trust me, <laughs> I've been where you are. You can change something about yourself or your situation, anything. I ended up calling her back later because that afternoon I had a conversation with my sister. She read me a quote from the Bible, Isaiah 43, 19. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. So I told her, so whatever wasteland you think you're going through, God will turn it into fruitful land. And that's, and, and that's hope. I said, you need to hang on to any hope. With God, anything is possible, right? Just pray. He can change your situation. We grow through what we go through. And lucky for me, I'm the daughter of a king. That's all. Anybody else? Am I supposed to keep talking? Yes. Well, in bed, like I said, literally, like in, in the fetal position, it took my medication to get me out of bed to go from the bed to the recliner for the day. Everybody was living life around me. I wasn't living. I was surviving. I, I, I was existing, really, just existing. I was living my life through a window pane, pretty much, you know. I didn't go anywhere. Marietta, thank you, Marietta, and Miss Yvette, they sit with me. They talk with me. They they're teaching me because I don't, I'm learning the Bible. I'm learning how to read the Bible. I'm learning to interpret. I'm learning to understand what, what it means and what it means for me because I know uh, it can be different things for different people. I need that. Um, God's healing me, I think, just in time. My father was recently diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And um, my mom is home, but she struggles. She's, they've been married 56 years, so this is difficult on her. I've become a full-time caregiver. Thank God I'm, I can do it. I mean, that's huge, you know. If that's the reason I was healed, I'll take it. I didn't used to come to church. I mean, I get car sick in the car, everything. Me walking up these stairs today, I, I probably couldn't do literally six months ago. So, and all this, the mustard seed that Chase planted in me was about four years ago. And it started to grow and grow and grow. <laughs> So I'm able to get up, I'm able to walk, I'm able to do everything I need to do. I do dishes, I do laundry, 
I still don't cook. <laughs> My husband would be glad he said, I burn Pop-Tarts, so there's no cooking for me. I've never, you know, not for me. Um, but I have Chase there. Chase has been very supportive. As most of you know, he's very involved in the church, and that's getting me involved in the church. So, and I'm, I'm very grateful to everybody here has been very supportive to me. Yep, <laughs> has been um, available to me. And I appreciate that everybody's door has been open. Everybody has been very welcoming. And I need the community. So I need, I need all that now. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Deanna, there's a promise in the Bible for you that says, He who began a good work in you will be faithful to complete it. Wow. From bedridden to caregiver. Lord, you are so good. We ask for more, Lord, in Jesus' name.